All right, you know I love me some graphics. So do you wanna create some YouTube thumbnails with me? Because today I'm gonna to turn my screen around and show you how to use Canva to create standout thumbnails that will increase your views, your search, and make people actually click on your videos and watch them. So let's do it. Hola friend, Jen Johnson here. Always a pleasure to hang out with you on my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I love teaching Christian entrepreneurs how to turn purpose to profit, lead like Jesus, and create content that impacts the world. So if you wanna hang with me here every single week so I could teach you what I know, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so I can notify you every time a new video comes out. Now, let me just tell you, you don't have to be a graphic designer, a tech genius, or have a creative bone in your body to create compelling thumbnails for your YouTube videos. It is crucial that you do create thumbnails for your YouTube videos, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that with ease over on Canva, which is a free site you can use to create all kinds of different graphics, and this is exactly where I create my YouTube thumbnails. So if you're currently wondering, like, well, why do I need one? Again, having a YouTube thumbnail as part of search engine optimization, which really helps your video get out into the feed, YouTube likes that you use them, and it's another way to really tell your viewer why they should be watching your video in the first place because you do wanna have some text going on on the video. So just some things to think about before we get started. Definitely, I would do some research in your niche to figure out what kind of thumbnails are people creating and what are people clicking on and where are the views like really going in my niche and just get a little bit of inspiration from other channels on what your actual channel art and YouTube thumbnails could look like. The second thing I would consider before actually starting to design your thumbnails is having a branded color scheme. Branding, yes, there's so much that goes into it, and it's not just about you know having the right colors and the right fonts and the perfect logo, but it also is about that. So you wanna make sure your brand is identifiable, and every time someone comes onto your channel, they know it's your channel because it has a look and a feel. So you wanna have a good aesthetic in place and have it be consistent across the board so people know that it's your video. They don't even have to ask. So think about your color scheme. Also think about the specific fonts that you wanna use. I recommend using two different types of fonts and one could be a little more, you know, ladies would be a little more swig swiggly and swirly than one be a little bit more of the traditional styled font. Uh, you can always go to places like defont.com or creativemarket.com to check out free fonts or paid fonts. I'll put those links below so you can uh, go over there and check that out. But you wanna have your own signature fonts. This is, you know, YouTube is like having your own TV show. So you wanna make sure everything is really uh, pleasing to the eye, but also people create that brand awareness with you uh, based off of just how it looks and feels. So once you have some inspiration, once you have your fonts and your colors going, we can now dive into Canva and I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, welcome to my home away from home, canva.com. If you do not have an account here at Canva, it's absolutely free. You just have to set one up. And if you do, awesome. Just know that there is a free fee, there is a free account you can use or you can actually do uh, the paid version, which I think is 12 bucks a month. I can put the link down below so you can check it out. It's really helpful to have the paid version because it does give you a lot more features and functionality. Uh, I do have the paid version, but the free version works just as great. So once you're over here on canva.com, the one thing that we wanna do is actually click on the YouTube thumbnail template because that is going to give us the actual size we need to upload our templates uh, in our thumbnails to YouTube. Now just keep in mind, everything is so user friendly, drag and drop, and one thing that I absolutely love about Canva is once you know your brand colors, you can actually set them up inside of Canva so they're always there for you and you don't have to memorize hex codes and all the craziness. So you can really have fun playing with that and setting that up in your profile once you know what your colors are. So in terms of creating your thumbnails, what I suggest doing is taking a picture the day that you're recording the video so you have the same 
look as you do in the video. I admit that this is something I don't always do, but I do recommend it. It makes a lot, it a lot easier, especially if you want to create a personal brand awareness and really have people identifying with who you are. You definitely want your picture to be in the actual photo. Now, the other thing that I love, if you are not creative, you'll see here that there is a whole template section where you can actually just use these templates, drag and drop your pictures, and change the fonts and the colors. It's really, really simple. So if you're in need of a recap or just want to learn a little bit more about Canva, I'm going to link another video here I did on just a straight up Canva tutorial so you can get the basics around how Canva works. It's really user friendly, so I encourage you to go check out that video once we're done here. But one thing I absolutely love are these templates because it's very, again, user friendly, drag and drop, and it takes the guesswork out of how to actually create a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So let's just say we wanted to find something really simple, like this, for example. Now what I could do is I can actually upload my own images. As I mentioned, you wanna take pictures of yourself and have that kind of thing going on. So I have a picture here, for example, that I could just drag in, it pops right in, it's super, super easy. And then as you can see, the font here is already really large. I'm not a fan of these little graphics, so I could actually delete those. And what I wanna do is uh, just basically exchange out the wording to say what I wanted to say. So create standout thumbnails, for example. Now again, we want this to be bold. We want this to be in our actual font that we have decided on for our brand. Let me highlight all of that. And now as you can see, the font before was working at uh, 120 as a font size, but my actual font is way too big. So that's why I say it just really depends on the font that you're using on what what actual font size it's gonna be, but you just kind of move it to the biggest size possible, and I can always move this out, and I can actually tweak this a little bit and move this forward so I can make a little bit more room, for example. So you just do a little bit of playing around with it, and this is cool because you can always move this over more, and then I could make this, again, just a little bit bigger so that way the whole thing fits there. And obviously, again, you want to grab your actual color palette. So let's say I want this to be blue. I can click on this and yeah, that maybe I just want it to be that color. Now, another cool thing you could do to really create a more bold look with your font is actually up in the right hand corner here, hit copy. And then you can actually pick a different color. So I could pick white or green, whatever, whatever color I want to use within my brand scheme. And I'll position it backwards, but I'll move this a little bit so that way it gives it that little bit of a 3D effect per se. So that's something that you can do as well. So just keep that in mind. If you have two different uh, fonts that you're using, you can also do that as well uh, by just maybe taking one of the words and turning that word uh, into your other font that you are using. So if I Here's what that would look like. I would come over to text. I would grab this and write the word, type the word, um, create. And my other font, I don't want to do in all caps because it doesn't, uh, it won't look as amazing. <laughs> so I will just make that as large as I can. So again, it's giving the same branded look and feel. And maybe I could do that in the actual white and it looks like I could still go bigger with that so create stand out thumbnails and you can really uh, change this to be do you want it to be how you want it aligned so maybe I want to go to the middle let's see what the if we do like the middle alignment here Wow. you can also turn it and make it fun that way too and that's also a fun thing um, that you can do just to kind of Again, give it a little bit more of a vibe, make it fun. And again, we can 3D this out a little bit. And you know, you, you typically wanna go with your boldest option here too. Uh, if I go, I think I can actually go bolder with my font here. 
it looks like I can. So I would definitely uh, find a font that does have that bold option because when it comes to YouTube, you really want to, again, just make it really easy for people to see your stuff. And, you know, for example, you can also put uh, little icons and things like that. If you go over to the elements, I can type in YouTube and it will bring up some icons and things like that. So I could drag this icon over and I can actually change the color of it. So if I wanted to let people know like, yeah, these are gonna be thumbnails for YouTube, by just putting the icon there, it really lets people know that. And you can change the color to be whatever you want it to be, which is really, really cool. And there's other types of things as well. If you wanted to add some texture or maybe just, again, layering is really, really cool. You can always layer. So let's say I wanted to just type in, uh, I want to create a frame around the entire thing. If I type in line, it'll bring up different lines. So I can actually create a frame here for the actual video. And I can do that in whatever color my heart desires, right? So I can copy that again, just drag it down here. And you can make it really as thin or as thick as you want to. It's pretty customizable. We'll copy again, move it, and we can rotate it. So that makes that easy. And go this way with it and copy again. So I don't like my thumbnails to look super spammy, um, but I do want them to really stand out and look bold. So this is a great way to do that. And again, you can just get some inspiration from these actual templates and really just think of a few that styles that you like. You don't have to change it up and have it be so completely different every single time. Uh, you can really just find two or three different styles that you like and, and kind of just keep it very congruent and in the, the vibe that you like to create your graphics in. So again, people find it identifiable so have fun with this really get out there and uh, don't be intimidated because canva is so super user friendly it's a great free software that i've been using for years and years to create everything in terms of graphics ebooks thumbnails you name it it's really really cool there you have it easy peasy my friend it is so much fun it's a rabbit hole that i've just sent you down i know but as you start to get a vibe for what you want your channel to look like, you'll start creating much faster over time, so it's not gonna take you so long. And using those templates really makes a big difference because, again, if you don't have that creative bone or you feel like, I don't know, I just don't have a vision for this, those templates really do come in handy. And for those of you who are like, oh my gosh, I just need to figure out Canva a little bit more, I will link that video here so you can go over and check out the other Canva tutorials I've done so you can step up your game in learning how to use it. And also, I wanna see what you're creating. So as you're posting and promoting your videos, you can definitely start promoting on Instagram inside the stories. Tag me, at Meet Jen Johnson, so I can actually see what you're up to in creating. I would love to support and just see the results. All right, friend, I gotta run. Have a blessed day, and remember, keep the faith and impact the world. God bless.